Good afternoon, this is Ronnie. Today's December 27th. We need others. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. James 5.16 Mark was terrified, for as long as he could remember, he had pretended to have it all together and had hidden his secrets behind a mask of spiritual activity. Teaching Sunday school, leading a men's Bible study, and serving as a deacon. But his perfectionism had worn him out, and he was tired of the facade. Today he was going to come clean and tell his small group about his struggle with pornography and his recent emotional affair. Instead of rejecting him or throwing him out of the group, as he had feared they might, each man embraced him and told them, told him how much they respected his courage. Mark was shocked as the other men began to open up about their own struggles and failures. It quickly turned into one of the most intimate and meaningful meetings they had ever experienced in years. Like Mark, we often strive to be the kind of men who are self-sufficient and do not need the help of others, including God. Like Mark, we pretend to be strong, but the individualism has severe consequences. We are left to face our fears and insecurities alone. We are not designed to live isolated, self-sufficient lives. We need each other, and we are designed for authentic community. In what ways are you hiding behind a mask of spiritual activity? Are you experiencing real community with other men? Bottom line, God wants to bring us to a place where we can accept our need for others. Proverbs 15, 22. Good morning and welcome to Park Talks. This is Daniel. Park it. Let's talk about it. So, Ronnie, what kind of music do you like? Mm. No, seriously, when you go 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Don't give me titles and artists, just give me genre. Mm. Man, I went through so much music. Yeah. I don't, I don't want titles and artists. So just <laughs> ten, 10 years ago. Man, a lot. Okay, not 10 years ago. For you, go back about a, month a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday. Worldly, I'm talking worldly type concept. Uh, oh, okay. worldly? Not? Not not like Christian stuff. Um, what would your friends be listening to right What now? would my friends be listening to? Probably some rap. Okay, that would be rap. Just heard one recently from my cousin, mm -hmm. Juice World. Oh, let's leave names. I listen to we'll it. Go into the Sorry, later. Juice. <laughs> That's the name of the art or the music artist. Or the artist. Yeah. Not saying he anything died. about him, right? Okay, we'll look at him later. But uh, maybe just Last December he passed away. Just the lyrics in general. Where did music come from? The Lord originally. How do you know that? Because it uh, says to praise and worship Him, and that there's praise and worship in heaven. And well, I would say worship. That's. Is where there is, okay, I get that. That's what it is. But how do we know it came from there? Where did it begin? Uh, where did it come from? Where did it begin? Well, in the beginning. <laughs> huh? Then the angels praised Jesus uh -huh. and the Lord. Okay, how about when did it begin on earth? When Adam and Eve uh -uh. were created. Close. Let's go before that. Okay, yeah. what is music? Music is organized sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is language? Speaking or talking. Organized sound. Organized sound. Yeah. Now, let's take organized sound and give it rhythm. Yeah. Now we have music. Yeah. You go to any culture, about any decade, as far as history can report, there's different genres, cultures, styles of music. Mm -hmm. And in uh, quite a bit of it, not all, there's lyrics. Okay? I mean, we can all sit here and think about music mm -hmm. from orchestras and stuff like that that don't have lyrics. Now, if you yeah. told me about military, I can... We can relate on that. On what? Music. Okay, go ahead. Just being in. ACDC. Okay. Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. um, Metallica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasp. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Judas Priest. Yeah. And then you want something a little softer. You got Journey, Kansas, mm -hmm. Tick, Chicago, mm -hmm. Boston. I mean, yeah. great musicians. Go on forever. Great musicians. Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. B.B. King. You know, and then you got into the country genre, the blues and the jazz. Listen You've got to it. all. I it love is music. Amazing. Here's the problem, though: <laughs> the music itself is not the problem. The it's music not that. is just basically twelve notes repeated in different patterns. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because that's a, it's just an arranged noise. It's organized sound. Okay. It's when we start putting the lyrics into it that it becomes something different. Yep. Okay. Now. And, and I didn't put this in the notes. We hit it a couple of weeks ago. We're going to do it again. I think I talked to you about this before. But 
is music found in the note or in the silence? I would say, hmm, tough question. Here's a note. Uh, yeah. That's annoying. That, yeah, and annoying. if it isn't, it will be quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about uh, 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 uh? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's uh, music. Uh, 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 uh. Same note. Yeah. It was in the silence. Silence. Oh. I was gonna say that, yeah, yeah, but I was yeah. just like, I'm gonna I, I said yeah. it out there. I, it was baited for you. To <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> tell. <laughs> What's the Bible say about music? Mm. Yeah, it, it should be praise and worship. Make a for, joyful yeah, noise. Make joyful noise. noise. I mean, and there's so many all, things. Even if you can't sing, God still considers it joyful noise. Wow. Mm. What if, when I started teaching you guitar, and you're like, oh, I did that. I can't do that. You can't. What was it? Make joyful noise. Yeah. Does this bring joy to you? Are you happy? You enjoy doing this? Yeah, You're I fired did. up about mm-hmm. it. You looked forward to rehearsal. Man, I can't wait to get home and get a guitar. I can't wait yeah. to buy a new guitar. Yeah. How many new guitars have you bought in three years? Three. I rest my case. <laughs> I've probably bought 30. I've got <laughs> well, I've actually I've bought in the two. Basement. I bought two and you got do. one. I build them. I teach you, man. I've I got... I've had them as gifts and just like they just lay there down in the basement. I give them away. I know. <laughs> I give my so students... I have no excuse. Them. So you will... <laughs> there's give a reason you were given that shirt, I guess. Yeah. You did ask me to teach you the drums. Now that's beating <laughs> rhythms, and that's yeah. playing 12 notes in different octaves, in different patterns, right? Mm-hmm. So then when does music become programming? When it's mm. become programming. Programming. When it's directed towards a certain type of people, like certain personality. People, place, things, emotions. People, yeah. The music is focused on glorifying, yeah. bringing light to, oh, I love her, I don't love him, I don't love this, that one yeah. did this, oh, dogs... Well. Dad, I watched, I watched one work. last night and I Probably shut about, it off. I, yeah. I just got in the middle of them like. Yep. But we, I mean, I you could run that so much. So I will surmise it down to people, places, things, and emotions. Mm-hmm. Music that worships people, places, things, and emotions now worships the creator or the creation. creation. But the original creation of the music by the biblical standard mm-hmm. is to worship the creator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we're taking the specific item that God created, organized sound, for worship and praise. Mm-hmm. And we are using it to worship worldly things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love my watch. I love my phone. I love my car. Drugs. I love my drugs. whatever. Right? Drugs. Yeah. Oh, there's drugs. There's and mainly there's partying. drugs nowadays. And there's chasing women for yeah. men. I mean, for men, it's a big thing. Yeah. So, can we say all secular music is wrong? No. Maybe not. Maybe not. But is there balance? Is it half and half? I don't know. No. I don't know. But <laughs> if I... If I take the lid off this water bottle, mm-hmm. this is a brand new water bottle, right? You guys can plainly see it. For real, seriously. Now, if I open this and I dump it, what's going to come out? Lava. Water. Water. Lava. Lava. No, water. Water. Cold, cold water. Cold water. It's cold. This is at my car. Right. No sugar? No. No sugar. No well. Wow. Why? Because they put water in the bottle. Oh, that's what's in there, right? Yeah, that's what they designed the bottle oh, for. Oh, man. You know, I'm going to talk to my wife. When they get rid of the plant, I'm going to make sure that they put the right crop in because I don't want watermelon to come up. So you got to plant corn to get watermelon. No. No. It's what's yeah. in there. Yeah. What you it's plant. what you okay, plant. Okay, so if, if my entertainment, my fun, remember months ago we did something on what is fun, right? Yeah. Okay. If my fun is entertainment and enjoyment of the world, background noise even, the title yeah. of this one here is background noise because it's a background noise in our life. A lot of people enjoy background noise because I can, don't have to think now. Yeah, there's a lot of people that like that. Mm. Okay, online, you can type in the title of almost any song over mm-hmm. the last 50 to 60 years. I do it a lot. And there's a huge possibility you're going to find can, lyrics. You can go earlier okay? than that. Now, here's the exercise. This is spelled out in the notes. Mm-hmm. So, if you're a listener on YouTube, go down to the, the notes area here, down below. And you can see this exercise if you don't catch it all. I highly recommend it. Go online and take your top 10 listened to songs of this last year. Just 10. Start with one, but 10. Find the lyrics online. They're free. Cut and paste them. You're not reduplicating them. You're not selling them. You know. Just get them. Looking at we it. did this yesterday. Yep, we did. And we're going to do it again today. We're going to yeah. take the songs we talked about yesterday. Dan, has, do had, Dan has done this with me before, too. Okay, now what we're going to do on this is you're going to take the verse and write a sentence of what it says. You're going to take the, the chorus and do the same thing for each portion, and then at the end, write two to four lines of what that 
score of music, what those lyrics said, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm teaching you how to shoot and you're not hitting that 15 meter, that 21 meter target, then I'm gonna need to spend some time getting you dialed in, but you're gonna spend time putting lead on target until you can hit that 20, it, repetitive action, repetitive action, repetitive action. You watch the martial art training movies, these guys are just beating up this tree until the tree falls down, right? Yeah. But it's the repetitive action they're going after over and over and over again. Do you know why something's called a top 10 list? Because they're going to play it more than 10 times a day. You're right. <laughs> if I hit a nail 10 times, even with a tiny hammer, every single day, eventually that 16 penny nail will go straight through that two by four, even with a finishing hammer. Take these lyrics, cut and paste them over to individual sheets. Write the lyrics down or copy them, doesn't matter. Read through the first part of the song, as I said, write down for each verse, chorus, bridge, and the ending what it says to you. Now, what it says to you or to me could be slightly different based on our past and based on our interpretation of the words. We're gonna look at two songs today, only two. One comes from 1982 and the other one was released September Ooh, 10, I was born 86. 1990, okay? Ooh, okay. And just by reading the lyrics, I'm relatively sure Ronnie will know what the songs are. I might know. You might, the one you will, the second one you may not. The way, is the one uh, from newer? Let me ask you this now. <laughs> Before we jump into that, I want to set this. Have you ever taken out the trash at home? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the last bag night. is full. Maybe it's been there a while, except for, especially for single guys. You open the can, the lid, the top, and the aroma attacks your sinuses mm -hmm. and your scent gland. Wow, that's bad, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, who put the stench in the can? Uh, you did. Uh, if you're single and live alone, maybe. How about we all did? Yeah, we all did. Everybody who put a little something in that can, and then you get the point where, you know, then the next person, the next person, the bag's full, the bag rips, a little bit dribbles out. What's that look like? I don't know, you hit your thumb with the t uh, a hammer, you hit your, your thumb with a hammer. Oof. A little bit dribbles out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then it mixes together, and the pungent odor grows, and it becomes so offensive. No, wait, we're talking about the trash can, right? Yeah. yeah. Not our words. Yeah. Oh, wait. Like so who would do something like this intentionally? I could say... Well, say, human being. No, human being. Not principality or power. Yeah. But human being would intentionally put spoilage into their life for the intention of bitterness as a byproduct. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. That's foolish. Mm -hmm. Foolish, we're gonna just stay with foolish. When we listen to foolishness in music, when we listen to anything, ask yourself, does this song exemplify pride, lust, or greed? At the very end, in your last two to four lines, just close one line with pride, lust, or greed, one of or all of those words, and you're going to be amazed when you start slicing your playlist and eliminating pride, lust, and greed, physical satisfaction, look at me and give to me, when you do that, your playlist is going to probably have music with either no words mm -hmm. or it'll have stuff worshiping God. Yeah. I did that over Thanksgiving. I literally cut my 1,000 song, play, over 1,000 song playlist in half. Yeah, just cutting out the world's music. Just cutting out the world's music. If I you don't want weeds in your, in your cornfield, why plant them? Yeah. You're the one who hits play. You're the same person who hits stop. How are you going to pick up your cross and follow him daily? If you're carrying the world. If you're carrying the world. Yeah. Yeah. If you care, yeah. What yoke do you got? Have you seen a yoke that had three ch three chokeholds on it? No, it's one and one. Didn't didn't Jesus say, "Take my yoke upon you, for my burden is light"? Yeah. You want the world's burden or his? You're gonna carry one. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll carry yours if you ask him to. Yeah. Wow. Do you want to be free? <laughs> yeah. Or do you not and what's freedom feel like? And you know what's crazy? <laughs> you don't get to make the choice. He chose you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he chose you. Yeah. Oh. That should sit right deep in your belly. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he chose you. Music and background music, TV, radio, streaming. These are all small bits of information that are planted in our head. All small bits, all seeds. Okay? So if I have a song that maybe glorifies lust. Yeah. It doesn't have to say it. What's the combination? The, the mind is so yeah. much more smarter than what we're told it is that never turns off. Stop dreaming, I dare you. You can't. You can't I control your dreams. Can't. 
Well, just like me and you, our minds yeah. constantly yeah. going. We like forget try, stuff. <laughs> well, we will, possibly because our mind's going a million miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. why I'm saying write it down, record it. Yeah. If you don't, it's foolishness. Information not written down or shared is a waste. Mm-hmm. What happens if God just holds you accountable for the waste? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't that know. That hits hard. <laughs> I hope so. It went that way. I hope it didn't have to be accountable for spilling coffee. Because that's a waste. I almost tried to catch it, but I would have ruined everything you got. Mm. As a man thinks, in his heart, so is he. Like that trash can, we radiate what's inside. I cannot get chocolate out of this water bottle. There's water in it. Wish it's full to the top. I know. I don't think that there's a song that can distort the thoughts or desires of a person. It will require a variety and repetition, and this can take many, many years. Mm -hmm. How did we start listening to certain music? Our friends in school. Mm -hmm. It was on the local radio station. We bought, we liked one song and bought a CD, and now we know all 13 of them. Our parents listened to it, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was on in the car when you were five, six years old? I got a story. I know you probably have stories, too. I, I just course. remember oh, bringing, my, blow your mind. bringing my music into the house in the, in the family car ride. <laughs> we didn't get that option. I didn't get that option. Oh, I got it. I got it. Me and Aaron both. I remember in elementary school, it was cool to like that band Kiss. Yeah. And yeah. I had their cards, and I'd buy some, buy you know, my nice pencils for Listening to albums. Eminem when we were in the back seat. Yeah. Oh, man, they were, yeah. they were raging on us pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and my mom would them. go through my room and find them cards and everything and burn them, and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's uh, there's a pastor that at a camp that preached to us, and he said when he was little, he used to love all that stuff. And one day when he found the Lord, his dad literally, he, he was literally chucking his records on the floor because he hated all that now. Yep. Like he was like, I can't have this anymore. And he literally, his dad went out and burned them with yep. idols. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, the all gods, idols. The gods. <laughs> They become small gods. Yeah. Now, remember, it's going to require a variety and a repetition for this to get in, even for a strong soldier. Think of it. If you're in combat and you've got your ceramic plates in mm-hmm. and you're protected, how many bullets will those plates keep out? I have no clue. Just a few. Because every time a round hits it, it damages yeah. it a little bit more, oh, and a little okay. bit more, and a little bit more. Same thing happens with body armor. And I'm, I mean old school. This is bow and arrow, speared and, and uh, javelin type stuff, right? Yeah. Maybe that first attack doesn't do it. We're but talking about spiritual armor? We're talking about... Either, it's the same exact thing. I know. You're right. I just, if you've got thin steel on your shield, what's happening, dude? Yeah. 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 But well, carrying a heavy shield, man, that sucks. Yeah. Soldier up. Mm-hmm. Because you may have to carry a shield big enough for the guys who got thin shields. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who said it was going to be easy? It's called being a soldier. And listen to that. World you wrestling. Is it easy? Ronnie? I wouldn't me. It's not easy. I did martial arts, not wrestling. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not. Yeah. Just... How many, you took some to the state championship. Really? You did, yeah. yeah. Him and a guy you coached with? Mm-hmm. Bumped into him at the gym the other day. That was really cool to meet him. Mm-hmm. Would you say that when we let in that worldly stuff, it makes our shield thinner? Or Absolutely. Really well, are, does it make it thinner, sure. or do we just start becoming finding weaknesses in ourselves? Start thinking we're weak and want to put it. Out. How many times, you and me were running this last summer? Yeah. And we were, we were doing the uh, sprint corners, right? Yeah. We, I don't know, mile, couple, three miles yeah. in. Kid, freaking pulled some heat out of nowhere. Hit these corners, pulled out in front of me like 15 feet. Then I'm like, all right, let's sprint some laps. He was a half a lap ahead of me. Yep. Hiding it the whole time. <laughs> I remember that. Yes, yeah, so do I. I've been training. Yeah. <laughs> you won't win next time. No, I won't. <laughs> and I've I been. I'm training too. <laughs> so I've been losing some weight. And training. You will. I mean, you're doing good. You're doing really, really good. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. But when, you're right. When we let the world in, maybe it doesn't lessen our shield because faith is thought. Faith. Can we less believe that there's God even if we live a life of sin? No. No, there's still God. Our belief in God doesn't make a difference. I told somebody one time, your acceptance or non-acceptance of a conspiracy is only the difference in your belief. Yeah. There's also... It's not a conspiracy once you believe it. Yeah. Then it's your reality. It's like, remember we talked weeks ago about lies? Yeah. When you accept a lie as your reality Mm -hmm. and then truth shows up, you always get offended. 
We'll find out who's mad or who, who's, who's believing lies, find out who's offended in the crowd. Speak truth all the time. Where do you get truth? Um, I get it from God, which means from his word, mm -hmm. from his studies, yeah. and from people of God. Other than that, it's, it's possibly not true. Yeah. Remember the Cretans? Cretans? The Cretans. Back in the Old New Testament. Lying, thieving, no good for nothing, lazy sloth. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What goods in Crete? There's no nothing good in Crete. The island of Crete where Paul landed. Now get this. Remember when the snake jumped out and grasped Paul? Jumps out of the fire and grasped Paul? I need to read some more. Oh, I'll send it to you. <laughs> yeah. But there's a snake comes out and yeah. latches onto the Apostle Paul's hand. Paul shakes it off in the fire. And he's Cretans now. Dirty, disgusting, lying, manipulating, thieving Cretans. That the scripture calls them that. Okay? They're waiting for him to die. Oh, he must be evil. Why do you think that? Because you're evil? Mm. How'd that hey. get in there? What music are you listening to? What, what TV shows? What internet? What, what's feeding mm -hmm. that thought process? Maybe you're not evil. Maybe you just think evil. Yep. Yeah. They say that there's a murderer just one thought away from everybody. Really? Inside of everybody is a murderer just one thought away from everybody. Yeah, yes. like, when you, like the Bible says, when you say you hate somebody, you it's committed like you murder. committed murder. You yeah. committed murder. I had this conversation. You stare at that lady, guess what you just did? Adultery, yeah, lust. Adultery, yeah. I had this conversation. Cause I got the Ten Commandments in my uh -huh. living room. Yeah. Went through them all. Got a keychain that even has the Ten Commandments, and I'm like, I've broken every single. So why? Yeah. Repeatedly, has. sometimes daily. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. What about just we cut it down to two? Ten's too big of a number, right? <laughs> we we so can't much. even put. Yeah. Too many people. I can't play guitar. I can show you seven natural notes. You can't get yeah. to seven. You got a problem. Mm -hmm. So here's <laughs> we can teach you how to get past that. If you can't go A B C D E F G, we'll worry about the black keys later. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what I told you? Yeah. He goes, well, what about the minors and the diminished in the seventh? I said, you ain't got the majors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's walk, and then we'll run. And then he gave us this paper. Yeah. I still have that paper. Good. Pass it on. I I have. It. But it's what we put in here. I'm planting watermelon. Here we go. Parents play the radio. They don't talk anymore. These rhythms and lyrics enter a person's mind even when this individual is too young to block them. Yeah. And now this new information begins to grow. We're going to look at two songs. And I'm sure you're going to recognize the artist. I'm going to leave out the title for a moment. I'm sure you'll recognize the title too. Lyrics on the first verse of the first song. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go away and leave you all alone? Hmm. I got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Hold on. Here's what I took out of that. What desire might a man have feeling he, when he is on fire and needs to know if a little girl is home alone? Yeah. I'm not going to say it. We don't need to. Let's there look at verse 2. We'll let the song sing it to us. Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? And can he do for you those things that I do? Oh, no. I can take you higher. Oh, I'm on fire. Here's what it told me. Now the male in the song is manipulating a little girl with his pride and lust against her father. Mm -hmm. You're going to love the truth of the song, though, because I actually did find it on the Internet. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of truth in there. Verse 3. Sometimes it's like somebody took a knife, baby, edgy and dull, and cut a six-inch valley through the middle of my skull. <laughs> Ooh. So, there's not too many things that could literally take that much thought and occupy my head. Mm -hmm. There's not. As a male, as a human being, there's not. Mm. I mean, Adam saw Eve and wanted his wife. Yep. Okay? Here's what I saw in verse 3. Thoughts are their desires. That's where desire comes from. It's your thought. Verse 4. At night I wake up with the streets, with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head. I wonder what the freight train's carrying. Yeah. Oh, you can cool my desire. And then he repeats, oh, I'm on fire. Ooh, song's over. Huh. Verse 3. Repeating the thoughts of desires are definitely a sexual thought. Mm -hmm. Here's what I found on the internet. This song is written by a man who wakes up with sweaty sheets, lusting for a woman. He feels like he is on fire when he suddenly awakes. Springsteen, uh, oops, writes 
using the voice of many different characters, and they often have some kind of unpleasant ordeal to endure. That's his normal way of writing. Now, he was called the boss. He's telling you what to do. Okay. The stark lyrics. Okay, stark. That, that's a, a word not commonly used. Stark. Okay. Stark. S-T-A-R-K. So I looked it up. Means strong, robust, to an absolute or complete disagree. The stark lyrics went well with a Johnny Cash-inspired rhythm that didn't hurt the song commercially as it made a top ten in both the United States and the UK. The lyrics leave a lot of wiggle room for interpretation, but the video lays out a pretty clear story of a singer and an auto, who is an auto mechanic who desires an upper class married woman who keeps bringing her car in for service. One night he drops her off, considers ringing her bell, then thinks better of it. That particular reference I will have in the comments. That's simply cut and paste. First song. There's no way another song would ever have that type of connotation written eight years later, or released eight years later. Yeah. The song starts with the word thunder being repeated a bunch. I was caught in the middle of the railroad track. Mm -hmm. I looked around and I knew there was no turning back. Now these are thoughts. If you're caught in the middle of the railroad track, Ronnie, what do you think is about to happen? Yeah. Death. <laughs> I see the train coming. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. about to take you out. Okay. And then you just freeze. Because you think there's no getting back, turning back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could that at all relate to, you know, our lives as you know, when maybe possibly allow a little sin to creep in and mm -hmm. the enemy tells us there's no turning back. I think I want you back. You've done too wrong. You've done too much. You're just, you're just, you're just. Maybe it's the programming. Been there and done that. Me too. Mm -hmm. You just went late more recently than me. Yeah. 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 See what happens when we clear our head of mm -hmm. the world's garbage and noise and background noise. Yep. We can actually think clear. All right, hold on. Let's keep going. This couldn't get any worse. I knew there was no turning back. My mind raced. Uh-oh, thoughts again. My mind raced. And I thought I could, or what could I do? And I knew there was no help. No help for you. Sound of thunder. Okay, so verse one. How did that kind of land? I didn't get this one as much as I did the other one. <laughs> What's crazy is, is I sang around in different clubs. These are songs I used to yeah. perform. Mm -hmm. Verse one, this person is thunderstruck. Mr. Thunderstruck, caught in a bad situation. Mm. Okay, Mr. Thunderstruck. And they say there's no way out, no help. Let's look at verse two. I know that song. Verse 2. Rotor went down the highway, broke the limits, we hit the town. We went to Texas, yeah, Texas. We had some fun. We met some girls, maybe for a pottery party. I've seen a lot of girls at Texas. By Tupperware. The yeah, they're, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> okay. No. Some dancers, though, some dancers who gave a good time. They probably played poker. Yeah. Euchre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Broke all the rules, played all the fools. So this is normal. We want to be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They blew our minds. Verse 2. Let me see. Partying in Texas with some dancers. And probably leading to some sex. But when the world has taught you over and over again that it's just, you know, it's, it's okay. They don't understand the value behind it. Uh, I can understand. You know, a soldier wouldn't just let this misinformation in voluntarily. They would it have to be watered down and dumbed down so that the intelligent would would go, wait a minute, what they're saying is not accurate or right. Why do I call this fun and entertaining? Mm -hmm. Let's go to verse three. I was shaken in my at my knees. Could I come again, please? Yeah, the ladies were too kind. You've been thunderstruck, thunderstruck. Yeah, 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 thunderstruck. Bridge goes into, yeah, oh, thunderstruck, yeah. Now we're shaking at our knee, at the knees. Could I come again, please? Thunderstruck, thunderstruck, yeah, yeah, thunderstruck, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Chorus two said, yeah, it's all right. We're doing fine. Yeah, it's all right. We're doing fine. And then the exit is thunderstruck and yeah, 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 is repeated until you just want to shut it off. But let's back up to that chorus two. It, 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 we're doing fine. 
Ronnie, how you doing today? Blessed, I'm fine. <laughs> Not I'm anymore. Fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm past fine. I'm way yeah, past yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Living a life of abundantly. But six, eight months ago, yeah. it was fine. It was I'm good. Fine. I'm, I'm, just, I'm fine. Yeah. Right. Isn't that a dismissal, leave me alone word? Yes. I, I'm going to go do my thing. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Yeah. I've said that me, before. You have? Yeah, basically. I have said it. Me too. Yeah. I've said it. I say, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, leave me I'm alone. Good. Just leave me alone. I'm good. Like I'm in the I got this. book. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, realistically, <laughs> if I had to tell the truth right there, what? I'd have just had a four-foot-long nose. Mm-hmm. Yes. We could sword fight. <laughs> I was thunderstruck. I'm fine. I'm going to just go isolate now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, exactly. <laughs> I'm going Basically. dark. I'm going dark. And nowadays, we can say that, oh, I'm going to go isolate now because of all the stuff that's going on. Or you can go get thunderstruck. No, thank you. Okay, so then in verse 3, the party, the fun, the sex, it was all good enough to repeat. Chorus 1, the thunder of guns tore me apart. That was in the chorus, the thunder of guns. <laughs> right. Mm. Bridge, now we're shaking at our knees. Could I come again, please? Mm. Lyrically, it was really just a case of finding a good title, something along the lines of Powerage, ACDC. <laughs> Or Highway to Hell is another one they, they, mm-hmm. they, they divided yep. it up. We came up with the Thunder thing, and it seemed to have a good ring to it. ACDC, power, that's kind of the basic idea of where the song came from. Mm-hmm. How about I'm on the Highway to Hell? Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to just soft sell that, too. Yeah. In shooting sports, martial arts, music, wrestling, college, anything like that, we learn that the correct repeated performance, proper practice makes proper. And almost every every year, start from the basics. Yes. (laughs) It's always going back to the basics. Yes. So we just start with that cute little ding, 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 ding. Melodies, yeah, and now we ding 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 ding. We just change the tempo a little bit. Yeah, we make it a little more friendly as we grow up, and then we got ding 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 ding. Okay, so now we've even sped it up more. We got the same. Now we just change the words around. Change the little lyric. Change that lyric here. Twisting. Yeah, like. Kind of how scripture gets twisted. Oh, Oh, nobody does that, right? Twist in the music, twist in scripture. And then if you slowly change things, you slowly change scripture. You slowly attack truth. Yeah. You slowly filter pride, lust, and greed into a person's normal everyday life. And this is now I've got to have. I won't do unless I get. Ooh, look at me. Look what I did. Look what I did. If I don't get the spotlight, I better get, you know, paid for it. You owe me something. Now you turn to buy Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's look at what music is actually about. And we're going to just be in Psalms for a minute. Psalms 100, verse 1. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all mm-hmm. the earth. Psalms 98, 4. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, mm-hmm. all the earth. Break forth in song, joyous songs, and sing praises. Psalms 46, 10. We've heard this one a few times, just first time today. Be still and know I am God. Let's put that one on pause. That one gets used in every house, over every door, on every wall that I have friends' houses, right? I've seen it in churches. Let's take the last half. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Is that praise and worship and make a joyful noise? Okay, got that. Roger that, boss. Mm -hmm. I mean, God. (laughs) Exodus. Exodus? The second book, they was worshiping then. It's organized sound. It was a culture. And you shall worship no other gods for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Now, what's he jealous of? Yeah. What's he jealous of? You're talking about? Yeah, what's God jealous of? Uh, Well, us not. Worshiping him. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> well, so would make my life a living sacrifice, holy unto you, Lord, would that be a life of worship? Why wouldn't it be? Mm-hmm. But sacrifice, oh, sacrifice is hurt. 
-hmm. They cost you something. How about those animals that were sacrificed back in the Old Testament? Think it cost them a little bit? Mm hmm. hmm. Well, but I like that song. I can't work out without music. I can't it's live without lie. background noise. That's a lie. Right. Isn't it interesting if, like, Satan can make you believe he doesn't exist, but I you'll still, accept as the truth? I still use a fan when I sleep. I grew up with that. I don't need it. I don't but need it yet. I like a fan. I use it. I like a fan. When I was in the Army, man, the first thing I do at PX, because they don't always get broken on the but way down there. this is winter, and I, I still know. have a fan. No, I just keep a window open in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I Our Lord <laughs> God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. If he can create everything he created us, create the world, create everything we see and know, touch, taste, feel, mm -hmm. that we don't have to have faith in, to include man. If he did that, and then in heaven, in the throne room, he could have anything he wants. And on every side of him is an angelic being. In, 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 in the Old Testament, it explains Ezekiel, right? Yeah. It, it writes what he sees, and it's like forehead of this. And it's on all four sides, and they're holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy. The angels involved. Oh. No, wait. This is not in the notes, sorry, but you're going to need this one. What did Lucifer do when he was in heaven? What was his job? He, he was, was the God's head right angel. hand man. He was what? The he head was a head angel. angel. He was God's right hand he man. He was in wasn't? charge of music, praise, and worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When God booted him, mm -hmm. what I've read, may be wrong, what I understand, is he was booted to the airwaves of the earth. Yeah. How do we transmit radio, internet, TV? There is. The, oh. Ooh. So he was sent to Earth, and he's corrupted and contaminated the airwaves of music, mm -hmm. media, TV. Mm -hmm. But Books. we're smart human beings. God programmed us in a certain way. Satan's been around longer than we have. You know Satan goes to church more than we do? I think he shows up on Tuesday to see if anybody's there. Really? Satan. Oh. Yeah, he probably sense. sends the devil up there, or, or, or a little imp. Hey, check it out. <laughs> How can I infiltrate this church? Right. How can I? Ain't nobody here. It? <laughs> it's empty. How, How can, can I, I divide these people? Oh, we ain't gonna come here on Sunday morning for an hour and a half because this place might be full. We'll come back later, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And the words coming out of the mouths of the water cooler, man. You see that football game today? How'd that grow nobody? How's it grow anybody? Yeah. It don't. Mm -mm. It don't. Well, I used to play football in high school. Yeah, it's 30 years ago. Did you grow up? I did the two days and then quit. Yeah, grow up though. That's back in the kids' <laughs> game. Not that, I, not that I never played football. Played one season, but. Developing, broke my developing played points. Games. What do they matter? Yeah. They get you nothing. Oh, well, I'll become a professional NFL. Yeah, when you lose 100 pounds. Yeah. And if you want to waste your life beating on other people, mm, okay. <laughs> the two songs we looked at, both songs have one focus: lust, sex, pleasing the flesh. Period. Absolutely. Knowing how repetitive action trains the mind and the muscle, I would wonder how often we have heard these lyrics in just these two songs and been trained to think in similar ways. Hey, good. Oh, boy. Hi. And you're saying that at 13, 14. Yes. I'm glad your eyes are being opened at young. Yeah. If my eyes could be opened, if I would have received something of this common sense or understood, I'm sure life would have taken a whole yeah. different twist in mind. Where I'm, where I'm at, where I'm I 14? live. Yeah, I'm 14. When I, where I live... 14. Some of the guys will ask to play some of these rap songs that I don't like and don't want to praise, so I'll just ask to go down to my room and read a book. Just I ignore hear, it all. I hear people say, it's just background noise. Yeah. It's just background noise. I ain't I, paying attention to the lyrics. I like the score. Yeah, then listen to the instrumental version. You know something? Great excuse. <laughs> Great excuse. You're going to buy that? Doesn't or does the trash can pay attention if the bag is ripped? No. Or if something leaks out. Is the trash can able to smell itself? No. It takes an onlooker to see the trash is full and to offer a solution or be the solution. And then to clean the can out. You just throw another bag in there. Even if it's sealed up can, lower unit for a while, that bag has got a nice tight seal around it. Oh, it gets smelling better, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You test that theory. Let me know what your resolve comes to. <laughs> There's been many times that we have allowed the ways of the world in our head and the way we live and think. And we allow those, those worldly ways to change our thinking to consider those ways normal or acceptable. Just our, or it's just our way of doing things. How did we get there? 
how did we allow our thought process to the point of murder is acceptable? There's movies out there called, like, there's one I saw. The, the, I didn't watch it. I saw the case and it was called The Purge. Yeah. I've seen it. Okay. There's, and I, movie I had seen many times, Red Dawn. Never yep. heard of it. Red Dawn. With, with, there's about two a of them. Country, yeah, there's two foreign of them. Foreign country right? coming in and just killing everybody and trying to take over the United States. So never heard of it. But it's all about killing. Mm-hmm. Action movies. Tell me an action movie doesn't have killing in it. Uh, there are not many movies out there today where somebody doesn't die. Well, look at John Wick. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that in theaters. So have I. Look at Star Wars. Everybody's trying to kill each other. Why? Because everybody wants to take over. Because everybody wants to be a lord and a god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What if we just had one true god and worshipped and praised him mm-hmm. and focused all of our, our time, our efforts towards him? We can still have focus towards look each at other. The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Yeah. Same. I watched them all. Uh, Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry. I didn't get into Harry Potter. Well, get I mean, into it or not? What's the teaching? Yeah. Witchery. Yeah. Witchcraft. Sorcery. Sorcery. Spells. Witchcraft. Yeah. It literally has a, da- a cloak or a blanket in one of them where it makes the kids invisible and they go just, and they gain knowledge of things they should never know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've watched them a couple of times. So they're teaching us that this is normal behavior. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like lying. Everybody lies. Remember that? Yeah. That's not normal. No. No, it's not. Everybody's just sleeping with each other. That's normal. Mm-hmm. No. Same gender, that's normal. Okay. If you get pregnant, kill it. That's normal. That's acceptable. No, it's not. Yeah, like, we went over that last Sunday in church uh, where Mary went to see her cousin Elizabeth and her baby leapt for joy. Yeah. How can you say the baby is not a human exactly. when literally in the Bible it says the baby leapt yeah. for joy? Yeah. Let's back up just for a minute. Mm-hmm. You're 14. Mm-hmm. You played video games? No, not very often. I plays guitar. Play That's guitar cool. more. That's cool. That's kind of rare to see. Nowadays, I just had to ask that question. Raise a child in the way that you I used go. to, till Dan, till I met him. He's about four years all ago. The time. And is, which, ago, is, yeah, is witchcraft not the same thing as same what thing. we just talked about, Harry Potter and yeah. it spells is witchcraft. and magic? And You're going to a private school to be a witch or a warlock. Look at the first movie. Don't, but in the first movie. <laughs> yeah. And your parents are witches and warlocks. Let's say you got to you got to shield your children of, of stuff yeah. like that. You know, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I grew I up sold. in the '80s. I played video games. I played well, the computer. Right now, right. now that now that it's out of the bag and it's adapted this to normal, mm-hmm. shedding light to it, not not running to the kids' room and grabbing all the stuff up. But okay. I will yeah. say this: when I I'm free in Christ. Uh huh. That I see it, I can inform other people. Now I'm not saying I, you know, I go into a room. I, they want to watch a movie like this last Christmas. I watched a movie. Eve. I watched a movie with yeah. them. I said yeah. I'll, I'll do one movie. You yeah, and my wife watched a couple, couple movies. movies. Yeah. We watched a couple. Like when I, I used to play video games a bunch. I even had like a handheld PS, PlayStation Vita, which is like a PSP. Had a Game Gear. Yeah, and I, I literally when I wanted this guitar in the pawn shop, I literally sold it, just to get this guitar because I'd rather play the guitar than play That's the awesome. games. Yep, that is awesome. Man. There are many times that we have allowed the ways of the world into our head and our lives. Mm-hmm. It alters the way that we think. Let's not just take out the trash. We need to spend time cleaning out the programming of the world and how it, the things that it's offered and the things that it's placed inside of us. We're going to jump back to the Old Testament with this couple of scriptures here. Second Chronicles 714. God chose you, so you are his people. You mean if, I'm not a robot? Sorry. I'm right. Not a robot. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face I'm not and monkey. turn from their wicked ways... He already recognizes Wait. we have him. Then, not before, mm-hmm. but, but then, I can hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. What more are we a human body than dirt or land? So wait, I'm not a monkey? Not is yet. what the world says? No, no. Well, if, if I'm from what I believe is when the world teaches you things, there's a good chance it's a lie or happening. Yeah, like, period. Yeah. Even look probably. at the history books taught in schools today. Oh, They're just manipulated no fabrications. I agree. They're the story they want you to know and understand. Look at the way we manip- look at the way we manipulated yeah. the Bible. Yeah. People manipulated the Bible. I mean, they've got one one. Uh, I saw one TV show about Noah, and they got him cranking the door shut. My Bible says that God shut it with His hand. There's other they call religious scriptures that if you don't agree with them, they kill you. So, so there's there's a show called The Chosen. It's actually I've pretty it. yeah, it's pretty accurate. And I know I know the guys uncle that created the show and jerry b jenkins the jenkins family owns this show and does it and it's actually pretty accurate to what the bible says there are parts that they add but it's 
mainly accurate to what uh, Luke says or John. Mm. Proverbs one twenty two. I told you he was gonna stop in Proverbs. Mm -hmm. How long? Those simple ones. Will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing, and fools hate knowledge? In Hebrews 10.26, we read, For those who know to do right and do not, for them there is no more forgiveness. So I would challenge as we close. Take your top ten songs, write them down. You may be listening to some music that's growing you personally, individually, mentally, spiritually. You may be. And there's, you know, cute little songs here and there. I like to sing to my wife. She yeah. enjoys them. Okay. I'm not worshiping her with that. I'm enjoying music with her with that. There's music that we enjoy listening to together once in a while, like when we're out doing things. But yeah. I would challenge, look at the lyrics, look at what you're being programmed. And sometimes just the title of the song. Yeah. Highway to Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's songs out there called Motivated, like that, but they can be... But they're motivated for what? Yeah, it depends If there's on a motivation are. for something, what's the motivation? Yeah, it could be anything. And, and it is almost anything. 90% of them are about worldly Pride, things. Pride, and greed. And yeah. I know we're closing soon. Go. I mentioned the rapper yeah. that you knew about. Yeah. Know nothing about the guy other than he did pass. And suicide. I will say... Was it suicide? It was suicide. Suicide? suicide. Okay. Mm. He was 25. 25. I wonder what led up to that. Drugs. Mm. All the I wonder, worldly but, things. Okay, let's back up. What led to the drugs? Uh, hate. Sin. Sin? Okay, so not liking himself. Yeah. Feeling miserable. Wanting, wanting, wanting to feel more better. party. Wanting more fun. Creating yeah. this image of fun through his, other, through his friends. Let's start. Okay, now I can't understand or hold my reality together. So now I have to start shooting this and snorting that and doing this and doing yeah. that. And it doesn't matter if it's prescription or illegal street or if it's alcohol. Yeah. Or what other addictions? I mean, we can, you have the addiction of video games. Video games. There's so much of anything. There's some stuff considered music out there that's so depressive. I'd yeah. rather do work with an alcoholic or a drug addict than somebody addicted to some of this stuff. Yeah. 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 I mean, what's, what do they call that music where people walk around with a dog collar on and a leash? <laughs> what kind of a life is that? Where You're somebody's pet? Yeah. For what reason? Pride, lust, or greed? Just curious. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for joining Park Talks tonight. This is Daniel. Have a great week.